girl beautiful brown baby doll and I know it's often hard to travel and carry workout gear. I'm gonna show you how I do it. First, I start with my workout clothing. So that includes like my stretchy workout bras, all of that can go in the corner. In the other corner, I ensure that I lay my workout pants as flat as possible, including capris and shorts. And then my soft workout shirts. I can roll those easily and place those on top of each other. Then I add my handkerchiefs, which I tie over my head to protect from sweat. Those fold down easily. Next, I pack my sleepwear. I include longer pants and shorts, just in case it's cold or warmer wherever I'm going to be staying. I then pack t-shirts, which are easily rolled and stored on top of each other or right next to one another. Next, I pack my day-to-day -day and leisure clothing. Anything I think I'm gonna need for the number of days I'm going to be there. I'm gonna be away for seven days. So you'll notice I add at least seven days worth of clothing. I also add one optional day, just in case something is to happen. Next, I add just in case clothing. These are just clothes that just in case it gets cold when it's supposed to be hot or hot when it's supposed to be cold, I pack at least one to two outfits that could suffice. Next, I pack my small essentials. People might think I'm crazy, but I utilize a casserole dish that I found at a cute boutique. I'm sure you can find them online. I pack all my makeup, my hair supplies, my jewelry, all in there so they sit in one place within my bag. The great thing about this casserole dish is it's insulated. Also, I add in my toiletries, which I put in a foldable toiletry bag. Next, it's time for shoes. And since you'll be working out, you'll need tennis shoes. I wrap those in the bag so that they don't get anything in my bag dirty. Also, I carry a little small bag for my nicer shoes or heels. And at this time, I place in my workout DVDs because this is where they're going to be safest. Next, you'll need underwear and socks. I always pack a day to two more than I need. I also pack my heart rate monitor for workouts, any stretchable bands, and jump ropes because those are going to be the most compact things you can work out with in, say, a hotel room or someone's home. I also bring my own Tide Pods to wash should I need. That's everything in my bag. Now for my look. I'm just wearing a regular Panama hat just as a laid back look, just in case you don't get to do your hair well before you head to the airport or to however you're traveling. I also wear minimal jewelry, just in case you have to remove any jewelry in your airport lines. I love to wear breathable clothing. So anything that's gonna be loose, anything that's gonna make me feel comfortable, especially for those long flights that you might have to head out on. I also like to wear a small jacket for travel, just in case it's a little cooler. Since it's warmer out, I have on sandals, which are easily removed at the airport. It's time to head out. But before I go, I like to have luggage that's easily spottable. So leopard prints, zebra prints, and bright colors are my favorites. It's time to fly off. Thanks for watching, guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.